So the main objective of this video is to show you an example of how to work out the I values also known as the second moment of area um, but before I do this I just want to give you a bit of insight into I values so the most common shape we see in this course are rectangles and most structural elements are, are, not, they are not complex shapes they're just simple shapes and mostly they're rectangular okay and mostly we see in this course is rectangles so now imagine we have this rectangle base B and height of H now assuming this arbitrary reference axis also coincides with the centroidal axis if this is the case then the ix value is bh cubed divided by 12 so b times h cubed and we divide this by 12 and iy equals to h the, the vertical times b cubed so times the base cubed and we divide this by 12 and now this is provided that the centroidal axis is the reference axis now what happens if our arbitrary axis which are the reference axis is not the centroidal axis then ix equals to ix on axis in other words it's centroidal axis so bh cubed on 12 as you can see plus a times y squared now what is y squared y squared is the vertical distance of the center of an element from the reference point minus x bar okay so sorry this should be minus y bar and this should be x bar so what is y y is the vertical distance of the center of an element from the reference point minus y bar and i y equals to i y on axis so it's on centroidal axis which is h b cubed divided by 12 as you can see up here plus area times x squared and x is the horizontal distance from the center of an